What's going on guys? It's your boy Fixit Daniel and we are back working on the scooter. Um, I posted something, I did posted my video last time for working on it and I'm going to show you some kind of mistake that I made but it's not terrible but something I just learned and by taking it apart watching some more videos researching and videoing. So I'm going to show you guys what I Welcome to the channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about the scooter. Um, basically, I made a video on doing the transmission and clutches with the new stuff I got from Rolling Wrench. So um, when I first did it, as you saw in the video, the belt blew up, broke for some weird reason, don't know why, but I think I know why. Um, maybe just carelessness or not really knowing a knowledge of it. But now after watching a lot of videos and researching and doing some stuff, I found some cool tricks, cool tips and tricks. Uh, I don't know if it's tips and tricks, but just something different um, that I learned. So I'm gonna show you guys what I found and what I learned so I can show it to you guys. So let's get this thing going. All right guys, so um, I've been taking this bike for a spin for a while and everything's been going pretty good. Um, been getting some good speeds. But I also realized that um, a lot of this parts and stuff that I put on, I just was careless and not realizing it, that it actually works. So um, basically, um, I put a new, a new spring in with some new clutches from Rolling Wrench. Um, the spring here uh, is, uh, I don't know if it'll show up clearly or not. I don't know if it, but this is a thousand. Oh, here it goes. It's a, a oh, oops, it's upside down so you can see it. It is a thousand horsepower spring. So I see many people in the videos um, going up a little bit to get some more speed. One guy I, I was watching did it really good. He got a yellow, a yellow one, which is uh, 1500. So it's 1500 spring and then. Uh, 1500 clutches so <clears throat> so um i think i may get a set of those to go just a little bit more faster um because um hopefully the top the goal is to get this thing to go to at least 50 50 55 miles an hour 55 miles an hour is a good top hit speed that's good enough to know that we can go on the road with everybody else and not get not hold up traffic not get stuck or anything so we still are working on that but i don't think I gave this much of a chance. I did, I just took them off. I've been using the spring and I've been using the clutches. Um, these are the nine grams that came with it. And those are the five that I gotten. And I mean, these are the sevens that I got. I got a five, a set of five. Those are the, the originals are five gram that came on this. So we went from a five to a seven and then here's a nine. Some people have gone higher to like a, maybe a 13 or so to give more top and speed. We may do that towards the end if it's just not reaching the goal. But I think the springs, if we get some 1500 springs or maybe even 2000 springs, we could actually achieve the 55, 55, mile, 55 miles an hour goal. Only thing is that um, I've noticed that people were saying that when you go that high, you when you rev, you are it takes a little bit longer to get into that because the bike's got to speed up to that 1500 or 2000 horsepower. Right now we're speeding to a thousand, which is quick. It's, it's nothing. You don't even notice it. It's, you turn the throttle and you're gone. So um, we'll think about that if we want to go up. But let me show you what uh, I've learned and what we can go into. So let's, uh, let me get my set, set on the tripod and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to start with the kit that came with. So this, the spring, and uh, let's get this out the way. So the roller weights with the with the uh, the variator. This spring and this casing and all these essentials right here came with uh, came in that ruckus kit. And then this is the old one uh, yes this is the old one this is the old one and the old spring 
So the issue that I was having is I didn't use this one because it wasn't working with the starter gear, which is this thing right here. The starter gear it actually goes right up in here. And the problem was, was this wasn't matching up with the teeth. Now it could be because it wasn't seated properly or which not, but we're gonna give this another go and see how this works. Hopefully it'll work. And if not, we'll just go back to the original one, which is this one right here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. This is the one that came with rolling, uh, came from Rolling Wrench. This is the original. Granitely, the teeth seem to match pretty well. Seems to fold pretty well. But for some odd reason, it wasn't working great with the starter. Every time I'd start it, it would get all hung up. So maybe it was because this wasn't set properly or this wasn't set properly. But we're going to give this another go and retry that. So that's one thing. And two, go back down. So with the kit, um, this, this is the original. This is the original um, sprocket. Um, I kept it because this sprocket that came from Rolling Wrench, um, the holes, um, so, so there is an actual, like when you take this off, inside here there are three little like uh, mounting nuts or holding nuts that holds this together. So when you pull this apart, it's sliding on the slider, which is example of this. It's got these little sliders inside. Well, the reason why I can't use this is because the holes aren't big enough for these down in here. So there, if they were bigger, I could use this, but it really honestly doesn't matter because this isn't the one that has like a different type of groove uh, that you could choose from. This is just the same straight, same way out of all of them. So since this doesn't seem like it's gonna matter and the only difference, the reason why I'm not using it is because the slots aren't big enough to take those little studs that holds it, I just re I went back and reused the original one. But with the kit, comes with these. So these are ball bearings. So basically in this kit, with the spring and the clutch and everything, you put the ball bearings in this little crevice. And this is actually from, let me take this, take this off. <clears throat> so imagine this was the original spring that came with the bike. So before it sat here and then just sat in like that. And that's how it turned. Well, with this new spring and the kit that it comes with, these go into here. So I was thinking like, okay, cool. I remember seeing Rolling Wrench talking about these ball bearings going in here, but it did, they, they didn't, these, these would work, but I couldn't get the cover. So when I saw this ring that came with it, I thought it went over. But the problem is there is a little bit of a gap it's almost like how the ball, with the, if I put these on here, the ball bearings may fall out. Well, I just realized that this is not for this. So this fits perfectly right in there where the ball bearings can fit and seat. And the spring fits right in there. So all I would do is take these ball bearings, stick them in there, stick this cap over, stick this on top. This is to replace that cap and goes right there. And then I place this right over top. So that way it all spins freely. So I asked anybody in the comments to tell me what that was and no one gave me any comments. I ended up figuring it out myself by watching more videos. I couldn't find the one from Rolling Wrench when he was talking about it because he didn't, he didn't go into too much detail. He just told you that's where it went because he said the kit came with it and that was it. But there was another guy that showed you exactly how to get these all fitted and that's how I figured it out. And then now I took it all apart and tried it and lo and behold, that's what that is. So we could actually use these ball bearings to fit in here to have this roll a way more better. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna piece this all back together and get this all back right. So that way we can get this running in a right good way. So now you know 
and and now we're going to figure this out and put it back together so let's let me show you how everything's going to go back together and work and we'll go right to it all right guys so now you know let us get into it so let us start with the ball bearings so we're going to take these ball bearings out of this package And how this works is they're just going to go sitting in this little crevice all the way around. So, take the ball bearings. We're going to get these ball bearings in. So, here, let me get my little magnet thing, make this life a whole lot easier. Alright, got this little magnet tool here. Let's get all our ball bearings off of them. Try not to lose them in the process. These aren't exactly easy. This we'll just do a few at a time. Looking good. So So you just get them arranged. All right. Got room for just a few more. Looks like it's not going to take them all. Just enough to get them in there. Let's see if we'll take just one more. Okay, so one, two, one, too many. See? So we'll take the rest of these here. So we'll take the rest of these here and just put them back in the bag. So there's like three of them that didn't fit. Maybe four. Probably gonna take take one more out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that one back. It looks like it's just it's just fine. It's just a little tight. No, yeah, actually. No, yeah, it looks like looks like a four. Four of them didn't fit. So which is fine. We got extra in case we ever lose some, so not a big problem. So now we got them in here. And then we just take this lid. And they sit right over it. And then when we put this over it, see? It spins just like that. It's a lot more free. So we'll see what this actually does. Not too white, too for sure. But uh, they look pretty awesome. They don't like they're going to go anywhere. So 
looks like we could use just a few more because it looks like it's going to press them down so maybe at least one more ball ball bearing so now that i see there's like when you get nice and pressed and flat they have just a little bit of a gap so maybe just one more so let me see yeah it's perfect so just that one works perfectly in there so now we would take our spring put it right back in there see how that freely moves then we're going to take our clutch and our plate on top and then voila so now what we're going to do now is tighten down with the nut yeah that's perfectly lined right there cool Boom. All we need now is tighten it back down. There we go. So, now we have worked on our variator. So, these are the nine pound, these are nine, nine grams. So, what we're going to do is we are going to try these, put them back in there. So as you see in the old one, it looks like that's where the marking was, but we're going to wipe it and try it again. See if we get a better, better height. And the belt that we were using last time was the original belt. This is a new belt. All right, let me get this set and hold on a second. Okay, so we're back. So, now that we got this all set with the variator, we're going to take the sleeve. We're gonna get this back in. They're not sitting in there properly. All right, let's put this plastic clip back on. Okay, got this straight. Now we're gonna get this back in here. So we ever so gently try to hold it in place. pretty good all right so now we're going to take the new uh, NYC plate with the original so the fan I got to order another one of these because the fan when I when I broke the last time it tore all the fan blades but it seems like it's holding pretty good so we'll uh, deal with that later all right so now to put this on Take our nut, make sure I got the right one. Get that on there. All 
and we will take our oh <laughs> forgot to put this on first getting too ahead of myself so I learned another trick with getting these on if you ever have a hard time getting these slided on make sure you pull this down like this you get that nice and flat in there then you slide this on and you just pull a little bit more boom you don't have to strain yourself just make sure you pull this nice and tight one guy even took a pair of uh uh, channel locks and squeezed as long as you squeeze it you'll have plenty of room to get that on there that's really quick quick and simple no problems so get this back piece on here get our nuts started So, now we can put our disc back on. All right, just like that. And now, we can tighten everything up. Hold on. All right, let's get this thing bolted. All right. All right, let's get this all uh, bolted back up. I think we're good looks like everything's pretty good so let us put this back on hopefully the teeth and everything will fit and I think we'll be good because that was what I was worried about but if it extends out it should start it up perfectly so let's get this back get this cover back on we'll put it partially back on and one other trick I learned too from putting these back on. Um, here, let me get these screws out. So, you don't have to take the kickstand off every time to get this cover off. A lot of people were, were, were uh, taking this cover off, and even me, and then taking this off as well. But you don't have to. As you see, you could take it off, and you just put it right back on, like so. Let me get my little hammer, get this bolted on, and we'll be good. Okay, guys. Um, unfortunately, this does not seem to work. I don't know why, but I think it's just too far out, and all it's doing is just 
chewing up the gears. So this not working. So we put we went back to the original. Now, <laughs> sorry about that. Now let's get it started and see if it starts up. well um, all we got to do now is uh, take it out for a spin so we put back the nine gram rollers and we are now using ball bearing uh, ball bearings on the clutch springs so hopefully that'll turn it maybe make it a little more better and we'll see how this performs so let us uh, put us away and we'll see what happens Alright guys, so we just take it from a quick little spin up and down the road, and it seems to be working really, really well. Um, I'm super, super happy with it, the way it feels. It's got a lot of good acceleration. Did get a chance to do a top end speed, but because uh, the neighborhood's really quite short, it's not super long. But um, I am going to take this out for a nice, good full spin on the, on the next episode. Um, and I'm going to try and take you guys along with me, do my little chest mount, and try to get a little speed check as well. So... Um, we will be coming back soon to be doing a nice good ride around. We'll bring some tools with us and just in case the belt breaks. Um, but yeah, we could not use um, partial stuff from uh, rolling wrench. The gearing, the variator to gearing, and the, uh, the clutch little slide thing. Those are the only two things we could not use. But we do have the clutch, the spring, and the 9 gram rollers in there. So we are definitely going to give that a try, give that a nice good ride and see how that comes out. Well guys, I know it was really short, but it was just something I just wanted to follow up on, something I just learned um, after I did some research and doing some looking. I just wanted to just show you guys to fulfill the, the question that I had asked everybody to, to let me know if someone knew. No one did, but that's fine. I'm not mad that no one didn't let me know. I figured it out myself anyway. Um, so, um, but yeah, we'll be doing some more video vlogs on this. We'll do some ride-alongs, um, see how top end speed goes, see if we're getting going in the right direction, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next fix.